Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. It's new product time, but before we get on to that, uh, all the usual stuff out of the way, thank you very much again for tuning in. And uh, as always, if it's the first time watching our channel or your regular viewer, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, button if you haven't done so already. It's interactions like that which keep this channel well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more importantly, it's customers not just visitors that pop along to our website and the link in the description below that mean both this channel and the business behind it will be able to continue. So today we're having a look at the, the Viking Kestrel ED 8x25 binoculars but before we come on to them in too much into more detail we'll just have a look at the accessories you get. You get the standard Viking hard, hard box there nice soft nylon uh, case there with the belt loop around the back velcro fastener and nicely padded inside which comes in handy for reasons I will come on to very shortly for the eyepieces a, a single eye cup there a pair of eye cups and the, the twin eye cups also which are drop down or, or removable for the 25mm objective lenses you get a very nice padded strap here with a, a quick release mechanism there. A uh, bit of a love-hate re relationship with these quick releases. I can't understand why. Believe me, these do not come off easy. So fear not. So then onto the binoculars themselves. And I mentioned why it's handy to have the case that's nicely padded inside. Just as the Viking Osprey, which I got with the same order as these, these have no plastic around the binocular inside the the packaging. There is, with these, there is no plastic whatsoever other than obviously what the, the strap parts of the strap is made of, but no plastic packaging whatsoever with these binoculars for those of you who are conscious that that, that way. So these are ED glass dielectric coated prisms, fully multi-coated and so Compare, yeah, so you get the benefits of the previous model but before these with the Viking Venturas which had the dielectric coated but non-ED glass so we'll come on to the optics shortly so these are 312 grams maybe 10 20 grams over what you might expect from a lot of 25 mils but these feel really really well built these so yes, so some 25mm binoculars you might see them at 295 grams. These are 312, but boy, these are really well built. Uh, some people are not sure about these double hinge designs, but believe me, these stay nicely in place once set. Very very easy to handle. Very smooth focus there, and it focuses. And I tested it down to about two meters. The eye relief is not quoted in the Gumpf with these. Uh, I would estimate, I don't know, 14 millimetres or so, and with them down, with my spectacles on in the real world, I could almost get full view. So you really, I know not everybody's spectacles are the same, so you may get the full view, or like me, maybe 90%, but hey, that, that's uh, that's my thoughts. So the eye cups, let's have a look, at one, two clicks. So the usual test, so fully out, I'm not going to twist, just push them straight in, they are not moving, halfway, there, a little bit of movement but n but they're not going in fully, that, 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 so that's, that's okay, no problem. Uh, I was a bit concerned at first because I thought it was coming in and out a bit too easy, but believe me, once set, they stay set. Diopter, oh yeah, just hang on, twisting. And, and like a lot of diopters, it's that initial movement that often is, is, is the worst. You think, oh god, it's not going to move. But once they do move, yeah, as you can see, that, that is moving freely. And uh, you don't want it to move too freely, so it knocks out of position. Handling, I find this really easy to handle. I found, once I've got it focused, not to hold them like that, but to put my hands across like that. Yeah, I find that really comfortable to use once you've got them focused. So what sort of view do you get? Well the, these are 25mm so maybe if you're using them, them in dusk and dawn you'll, you'll probably be better off with a set of 
the well, any of the Viking 8 times 42 millimeter models but still you get a very very bright image considering the small objective lens and the uh, small exit pupil of, of what uh, just over 3 millimeters 3.1 millimeters so it is a, a very nice bright image in in most conditions one thing I was impressed with, with these was and I, I looked as hard as I could but I could not see any internal reflection sometimes you get a bit of internal reflection from, from inside the eye cups but I could detect none and that, that's excellent and that does help increase uh, contrast there is some evident pin cushion distortion but in the everyday world and you, you, you normal your daily walk are you going to notice that unless you're looking at uh, lamp posts and sides of buildings you, you won't really notice it the, the, there is a little bit of fall off in quality probably from the outer 20 percent but it's gradual it's, it's not drastic and well within tolerances you, you could say very usable but the impressive thing with these is the lack of chromatic aberration uh, it's yeah these are not apochromatic so it's not they're not totally chromatic aberration or, or CA, CA or false colour free that there is some but that sweet spot on the like the inner 20 25 percent and I was just um, looking at some uh, pigeons in my usual tree down the bottom of the garden very very heavily backlit and there was actually three pigeons all, all playing chase me and getting a bit frisky you know what I mean and and in that sweet spot, I, I, I was looking at them and you could see no false colour whatsoever around them. It was only on the out, outer, like go beyond that 30% from the centre and you start to notice them. But then you go away from high contrast subjects and there is no chromatic aberration whatsoever. And uh, most people won't see it even with the high contrast subjects. And I was very impressed with these two meters close focus but I was looking at flowers in the back garden and I've, I've also got you know looking at the hoverflies and, and all that and the flies on, on the flowers just two meters away and it, it, the sharpness was incredible with these I was very very impressed if you like looking at the insects in the back garden where well, you can't really go too much wrong with these and that lightweight makes them very very easy to hold for a long time and I detected virtually no eye strain whatsoever looking at them for quite some time and down the bottom of the garden I was having a, a good look at the the wild uh, thistle plant that I've got with covered in bees and you could easily observe them on their daily chores without disturbing them uh, it's a I believe a 6.8 degrees field of view which is about par for the course for a set of 8 times 25 so yeah very very nice set of binoculars um, I'm gonna be hyper hyper because I'm it's one of these sets where you think now what's wrong I can't find anything wrong with them I found that maybe if the eye cups had come out and come out an extra one one and a half millimeters that would have been perfect because I found once I push my eyes right up to the eye cups I just get a little bl blacking around the edges but all you then do is just push just pull the eye, the binoculars away from your eyes, just one millimeter, literally, and that that's solved. But that that's, yeah, that's being really, really unfairly picky with these. But yeah, for the the price range, 149 pound at the um, at this time of this video, uh, good value for money. Uh, years ago, to get a set with ED glass and dielectric coated prisms with this specification from brand name you'd be looking at 200 pound plus but now the that sort of specification um, is very very affordable and thanks to Vi the viking kestrel that you can uh, order these uh, uh, pretty much straight away uh, they came in just a, a, a couple of weeks ago or so and uh, available to purchase in the link in the description below but you know that anyway don't you so anyway thank you very much for watching and uh, we shall see you next time